If you're getting an error on your Joomla site and you're going to ask someone for help or you're looking to help yourself, here's how to get better errors. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for it. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Maintenance Monday number 272 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. So if you're looking to hire someone short term or long term or just to get you out of a spot, send me an email tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. Okay, this topic is very similar to last week's Maintenance Monday, but it also looked at how to fix a certain situation. And I really wanted to make a video that I could give to people so that when they're asking for help, they can give me the best error message. Because, you know, let's face it, not all the error messages that we get in our Joomla sites are helpful. It's just like a check engine light on the dash. Sure, but really, what's, what's wrong with it? All right, so let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll cover this one really quick. All right, so look, I'm going to log into this Joomla 4 site, and well, I get this red screen when we scroll down. It says there's a problem, 500, whoops, something went wrong. Well, that's not really helpful, is it? So we want a better error message. Now, first thing, if you're able to access the global configuration of your site, then you can turn on error reporting and debugging. And now this particular error, look, even though it looks kind of wonky, we do have some links here and we can go to uh, global configuration and in there we can simply under the server tab go to error reporting set it to maximum and then under system go to debug all right now if you happen to not have a link that will take you to the global configuration uh, take a look at this url try manually typing it in after administrator put index.php question mark option equals com underscore config and it might bring up this window in which case you can uh, go ahead and change those two settings that I just showed you and save but there are cases where you can't even do that in which case you want to go into the configuration.php file in the folder that your Joomla site is installed in so you would go to your uh, web hosting control panel go to the file manager and then go into that folder you'll find uh, configuration.php right click go edit and then look down the lines where you'll see a line that says debug here it says false we're gonna say that's true yours might be zero change it to one and then also go down to error reporting whatever you have in here change it to maximum all right save and then when you go back to the page that's throwing you the error as we scroll down suddenly oh look at this we get some information and we see here in this case the fatal errors in this file it's a module that shows google analytics and with that information you can help yourself or ask for help now if you still don't get an error here here's a last thing to try go into your web hosting control panel find where you can change the settings in php the php that your site is running under look for display errors and go ahead and enable that that might also be the reason why errors aren't showing up. And that's going to go a long way to helping the person who is helping you with your Joomla site, whether it's someone else or you. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.